This video is a layout update for the year 2020 and summarizes the top 10 most run locomotives. Hello and welcome to a video with Märklin of Sweden. Yo, it's uh, end of the year 2020 and what could be more appropriate than, than to make a layout update video? Yes, so we're gonna look at what's uh, new on the layout for this year, uh, what we accomplished so far. <laughs> and also we'll be looking at what train uh, I've been running over this year. You know, rock rail, this um, uh, track planning, uh, track um, uh, train management software I'm using uh, stores the hours each locomotive has been moving on the layout so when the the throttle is uh, something else than zero so that gives you a clue on on what locomotives you like and maybe not so much <laughs> and, and uh, I think it's uh, great fun to go into to that statistics at the end of each year print it out and and uh, have a look at it and see how the new locomotives rates uh, versus the the older ones so let's get started all right so let's get those trains started for the countdown looking back to 2019 the runner-up on third place that year was the s-bahn commuter train it ran 9 hours and 58 minutes over the season. It was a part of both the local and the regional traffic on the layout. The second most run locomotive in 2019 was the RC3. This uh, model from Märklin was released uh, back in 2010. It bounced up here in a number of hours after weathering and installing power pack. These uh, G type uh, goods cars from SMG also contributed to that boost and the winner 2019 was the BR103 a real classic which has run a lot on this layout I read the uh, 142 hours of operation since it uh, came to the layout back in 2015 This year, 2020, I've been focusing mostly on this uh, station area and uh, a lot of amendments has been made here. One of the few amendments made uh, down on the Himmelsboda siding is the addition of this uh, wheel loader which uh, serves in the sawmill. Other amendments are more fence and also some extra trees. At the same time I extended my harbor with a small boat harbor as well. I scratch built this uh, wooden landing as well as these uh, traditional boat houses. You typically find these on the Swedish west coast. And down here in the harbor we'll find the number 9 for this year, which is the V100 switcher. I really like this switcher, it has a nice sound and a good weight and runs really well. Another amendment uh, made early this year was uh, scratch-built platform roofs up at the city station. 
These roofs were built uh, from the Swedish standard roof for platforms. Number 7 this year uh, was a new steamer which uh, arrived to the layout uh, late October but still made it up to number 7 spot. I made a video tutorial when this uh, locomotive arrived. It's uh, really nice. It pulls uh, heavy cargoes, a lot of cars. Has a nice sound and an excellent drive. Nothing really to complain over. Uh, and after the power pack was assembled, then it's a winner. The Swedish uh, locomotive RA989 from Jekko holds the sixth spot with five hours and 31 minutes of operation. Initially, I had problems with this locomotive. One of the wheel flanges were not correctly assembled from factory, so that gives uh, gave it a pulsating drive. Once this was corrected, I gave it some basic weathering and purchased this set of 50s style Swedish passenger cars. When the summer came, I amended uh, a merry-go-round to this uh, midsummer festivity fairground diorama. I'm planning this uh, season to make it a snap-in module which could be fitted onto the model railroad instead of that uh, town park. We'll see about that later. Let's now instead check out the fifth position, running 5 hours and 52 minutes. This uh, RC2-1056 came to the layout 2001 as an analog locomotive. Now the reason for the fifth spot this season is not due to the locomotive, but for the coaches. Newly acquired 10 Euro Nacht sleeping coaches. After the summer this year, I did some extensive amendment in and around the locomotive station. Both the ash pits and also a number of new destinations for the trains. The fourth spot is held by the BR43903-4, which came to the layout also as an analog device back in 2001, but now has been replaced by the new BR44. This one has the old drive, so it's kind of noisy. In the late autumn, I removed the town modules, which I had uh, behind the main station. The reason for this was to give room for a module of Lapland and uh, the Lapporten. This as I acquired a night train going up to Abisko Tourist Home. And this one goes well as well with the DM3 Iron Ore train. The Iron Ore train was also weathered at this time. Very nice. Another replacement is the BR218-220-2. This new version from Märklin replaces an old BR18 I had, number 26, from a starter kit back in 2004. The old locomotive had a sound module but old type noisy motor and drive. Whilst this new one has a cardan drive and centralized motor, runs like a charm and has a nice sound to it. In second spot, running 9 hours and 26 minutes, is the very old BR50-2362 model, which came in the same starter set as the BR18 I just replaced. Well, this uh, achievement is not much due to the locomotive itself, but for the new set of cars. I acquired this set of tank cars uh, in the middle of the summer, and uh, the BR50 is pulling it since then. One of my favorites on the layout. The most run locomotive this year is the S-Bahn commuter train. It held the third place uh, back in 2019, but went up to the first place this year. It has run 12 hours and 41 minutes as a part of both the local and the regional passenger transport system. All right, so there you have it. The progress made on the layout for one entire year. <laughs> Maybe not so much. What 
progress have you made? Uh, please post a comment in the comment field below and uh, it's always uh, great fun and interesting to learn about what type of, of progress and, and development you make on your layout. Uh, also a word about the BR103 which was uh, has been actually top uh, in the top three over the past uh, three years and it wasn't on the list at all. No actually it's um, this uh, locomotive I was, it was given to me as a gift back in 2010 and uh, it has the old drive system uh, from Merklin so it's a kind of noisy gear and uh, <laughs> now I replaced most of the locomotives with the new drives train and this one has not so that's why it uh, bounced back all the way down to spot 47 it has actually it's been standing in a box for most of the year. Hey, if you didn't know, please be aware that this uh, channel, which is uh, directed to a niche audience, model railroaders, is uh, very much dependent on uh, the support from the viewers. So if you want to see more of this channel, you do it regularly, please support the channel. Become a patron from like $1 per month or uh, give a one-off donation using the PayPal dialog found in the in the video description below. If you have some questions about the video content or my layout, please post them in the comment field. And otherwise, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and enable the little bell, and you will get notification once next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya.